Differentiate between true solution, colloidal solution and suspension. The solute molecule in the true solutions are not visible even with the powerful microscope. The molecules of the dispersed phase cannot be seen with naked eye. However, they can be made visible through a powerful microscope. The particles are so big that they are visible even with the naked eye. The particle size is below 1 nanometer in diameter. The particle size is 1 to 100 nanometer in diameter. The particle size is above 100 nanometer in diameter. A true solution forms a homogeneous mixture. A colloidal solution is heterogeneous. Suspension is completely a heterogeneous mixture. The solute molecules in a true solution can pass through even fine filter paper. The colloidal particles can also pass through the ordinary filter paper but cannot pass through filter paper called ultrafilters. The suspended particles are retained even by ordinary filter papers. The osmotic pressure exerted by the solution is relatively more. Colloidal solutions exert a very low osmotic pressures. No osmotic pressure is observed. The particles of the solute in a true solution can pass through the parchment membrane. The particles of the colloidal solution cannot pass through the parchment membrane. The particles of the solute in suspension cannot pass through the parchment membrane. The solution do not possess the property of adsorption, a surface phenomena. Colloidal solutions possess remarkable property of adsorption. The phenomena of adsorption is much less marked. No electrical properties such as electroosmosis, cataphoresis, and coagulations are observed. Colloidal solutions exhibit these electrical properties to a greater extent. No such electrical properties are exhibited. When a strong beam of light is thrown on a true solution, the path of light is not illuminated. The path of the light is visible due to scattering of light when a strong beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution. No Tyndall effect is observed.